Hey there, this is Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. Today we're doing a light worker reading for the sign of Libra. So we're going to shuffle up some different oracle decks and let you know what's going on. We'll be using Rebecca Campbell's light worker deck, the Animal Spirit Oracle, this one, um, Mystical Shaman Oracle, and the Quantum Oracle. Okay, we're going to shuffle up and get started. I think we'll start with Animal Spirits. This is going to be representative of your overall feeling, your overall energy right now. Okay, um, you're getting an interesting message here. You've got Moth Spirit, which says surrender now. So let go of the control freak, Libra. Time to let go. Watch and wait, equally important. Both sides of the scales you should understand. Look for things, choose your moments, and then time to collaborate. There might be somebody new that you're gonna start working with on some of your projects. So this is what we've got for you, for the general energy going on with you right now. We're going to take a look at the Mystical Shaman deck next. See what's going on. Ooh. Okay, then. You are getting right to it, aren't you? Okay. Stand still. Watch and wait. Did we not just hear that? You have the Medicine Wheel and the Mystical Shaman. The medicine wheel, I would say, is definitely about letting this cycle happen, letting things flow forward. If there's a surrender now, is something to let go of things that are supposed to be moving ahead, this is the time to let that flow forward and things will proceed out of there. Wisdom comes out of there. Strength comes out of there. Instinct and higher knowing out of here. And then the mystical shaman is the name of the deck and also the name of the card. And it says, um, it's above the ant spirit where it says time to collaborate. This, I would say, get in touch with whatever it is that's your spiritual game. This is the time to look for those influences. They could be not just someone you're collaborating with here, but influences from the other side. Ancestor influences. All right. Let's see what the light workers are saying. So the light worker oracle for you that understand that, identify with that, and want to know a little bit more. Let's do a regular shuffle up on this. Yeah, you're slick right now. Okay. So this might be a new way of thinking for you right now. There's a great awakening happening on the planet right now. In your heart, in many people's hearts, they want to level up, raise the vibration. And as much as we're seeing chaos and nonsense and craziness around us, we know that it is the time to honor love, honor the higher self, to share more, give more, surrender to what's, our, what's for our better selves and our better nature. Not to fear, not to nonsense. Understand that there are cycles and things. And look to higher guidance. This is the awakening. It says, energetic upgrades are happening. A new way of being and integration. It's a call. It's a, a like, aha moment. It's epiphany. Um, you'll know it when you feel it, and you've probably had it niggling at you. Some people feel it, bam, it's really super clear like a lightning bolt. Other people, it's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a gentle nudge. Okay, you have this stand hill still, watch and wait, and it seems like contradictory, but it's not. It says leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So this is saying to you, pause and think, trust, have faith, and the universe has you on this. So make a good decision. Whatever this new collaboration is that you're doing, 
whatever these higher guides are trying to help you with, whatever's been nudging you forward, it is definitely time. The universe is right there. So stand still for a minute, get it together, get centered. This says the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. So this is something you are ready for. You are more than ready. This is saying leap, leap, literally. So this is what the light workers or the light worker oracle is saying for you right now. So this is a time of spiritual leveling up, letting that inner knowing be your guide. All right, we're going to look at the quantum just for some quick pragmatics for you. See if there's anything that we need to balance, since that's the name of your game sometimes, Libra. None of those will stick in there. Taking two on that one. <laughs> okay. The loving woman and back and forth. This is supposed to be representative of you right now, right here, this moment. This back and forth is in the past. Time to move beyond that. So you have that standstill, the back and forth. You think of a scale with weights on it and how you're balancing, balancing, balancing. You're about there. You're about balanced. Your knowing is coming on strong, good. Watch and wait. Observe. You're ready. The loving woman. Be in your higher self. Look to your higher guides. Understand cycles. Be very loving. Be open and receptive. This is you right here, right now. This is the people that are around you. In your case, this is the people as in recognizing yourself. The intention behind it is more balanced, less back and forth. Calm. Get still. Get alignment. Okay, that's what I've got for you, Libra. I hope this is helpful. Subscribe and like. Come back again. Take care.